Welcome to Casual VCH, a podcast about Bitcoin Cash and Smart VCH, where sometimes we go off the rails and talk about everything crypto. I go by the handle Sayoshi Nakamario and created the website HelpMe.Cash. And I'm the wife. That's it. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about general Smart VCH news and tokens. So it's January 1st, 2022. It's been about three weeks since we last did an episode. Of the ecosystem. Of the general ecosystem. No major news. There's been lots of little things. Yeah, nothing big's come out. Another Dex started up, which is tropical. They haven't rubbed yet. (laughs) They've been going for two weeks. They have been. Uh, So I guess we'll just start with tropical since we're going down that road. (laughs) So I believe they launched on December 14th. Yeah. Uh, They had some issues when they launched. Yeah. Uh, I believe they actually had to create a new token for their Daiquiri token. Yeah. And then everybody had to exchange for it. Yeah. But they're running. Yep. They're running. They got lots of NFTs out. A couple splits. Different designs. Yeah. I still don't like the 4% fee. fees. But I was going to buy into it. Were you? And yeah, I was. Because it was low. Daiquiri was. And I was like, well, if I just buy some Daiquiri and stake it, because it was still at 600%. And then I was like, nah, I'm not going to do it. And then it went up. And I'm like, I should have done it. <laughs> so that's crypto for you. Yeah. Uh, so one thing I've noticed about Tropical is that the devs, at least, are very active. They are. And they seem to be doing... Well, it's one dev. And then the three other people are not devs. They're just marketing or nft seller so i don't really i don't know don't know them or their skill sets really but at least two or three of them were constantly talking Mm -hmm. in chat and it seems like they're bringing out nfts and doing a bunch of other stuff so we'll see if they stick around and yeah i did see that about ben swap releasing the sep 20 factory yeah so that that was a more recent thing so that was like yesterday was it a couple days ago so you can create your own token on ben swap and I only did a quick glance at it, but it looks like you can like reload your token if you've created one and manage it in some way. Mm. Um, it shows you like the list of addresses that has it and things mm. like that. And you know, like you might be able to mint more of them if that's permitted with yeah. your token. Things I like think that. I saw something where more features to it will be coming out. Would not surprise me. Uh, so it costs two eBen to do that. There's some other tools where you can just mint a token, no charge, but mm-hmm. I think it's it it's mints it, just but then that. it's yeah, it deploys the contract and that's it. So after that, you gotta do everything yourself. So BenSwap just makes it a little bit easier to get some of those front end style things on it. MissSwap has paired with Hop.Cash to do a bridging through SideShift. Yes. So I don't technically know if the SideShift part is public public knowledge i mean anybody could have joined and tried to test it yes. so we're gonna go with it public okay. knowledge <laughs> um so yeah they've partnered with hop.cash which is one of the bridges for getting bch into smart bch mm-hmm. uh, so they are currently testing sideshift.ai which is a more centralized exchange that lets you exchange some tokens uh between places yeah so i myself did a couple tests Looking at some other people, they did some tests from like uh, Avalanche tokens mm-hmm. over into Smart BCH. So it goes through SideShift and then SideShift sends them to the Hop.Cash bridge. Yeah. And they show up and all of that's automated, which is kind of nice. So yeah, hopefully that'll be out soon. Lending still to be determined. I, be- I thought I saw something about lending being Q1, like early 2022. She was hoping to have it out. Yeah, I think so. They did a ask me anything Q and A in the Discord um, for Bitcoin cashers, I think it was or something. I'm not sure who it was through. I think the interview was done with bch101.com, okay. who's Cindy, I believe, of Satoshi Angels. Mm-hmm. So that, yeah, you can check out that Ask Me Anything if you're interested in MissSwap. There's a bunch of random info in it. Uh, continuing Dex news, although it's not really news. Esteban said Coing Fu was going to be very soon, back in the middle of December. And we are now in January. It's still not out yet. So. And he also <laughs> said it in the middle of November, the words very soon. And this week was his wording when he was asked further what that meant. 
but We're he's still waiting to see. It sounds like he's now working on the bridge again. The one that we thought he stopped working on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he may have dropped Coin Fu again. I mean, maybe he's just a time traveler. So, you know. Doing it all. Doing it all. Like, he is working on the bridge, and he is working on Kung Fu. Yeah. It just depends on what time you're talking about. Oh, that's true. (laughs) As a Kung Fu backer, I'm disappointed it's not out. Especially when there's been, like, six DEXs out or something now. Yeah. Especially with how early it got funded. I know. Like, it's... You fund something expecting something to come out, especially when it's like, hey, we want to bring this to Smart BCH, and Smart BCH hasn't even started yet, and hey, we're going to do it. Awesome, great, okay, here we are. Nothing. Yeah. Depends what his plans are. Maybe he was hoping for something much more major and different than a standard DEX. Yeah. Which is why it's taking so long, but we shall see. That's still on hold, essentially. Some general Smart BCH news. Cat's like <laughs> Oh, okay. We'll do that one instead. <laughs> I was going up. <laughs> um, so Cat's Luck is the that little staking gambling thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so thirty two percent of cats, cash cats, yes, the token, uh, are currently staked into it. Thirty two percent of all cash cats. So there's some like in farming, and other people just have it in wallets. But thirty two percent of it is, which is a pretty Good decent chunk. chunk. Yeah. Yeah. And they also have now allowed other tokens. On Cat's Luck? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so you can actually stake in your BCH and other stuff. I haven't. I don't know exactly what it is. I just saw BCH was one of them. Mm-hmm. The whole gambling side of it can be done on those as well, and you get a return for staking. Woohoo. Yeah. Money. I have not played with it. I don't really want to do the, the gambling side with my, my coins. So Why, when I can make passive income just as easy? Yeah, less returns maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, So I was going to say, general news, Satoshi Angels released on the 13th, so this was a while ago, but I just checked today, and uh, it hasn't increased drastically from this, so Uh, 100,000 BCH has been moved to Smart BCH and locked up. That's good. Uh, 151 BCH has been burned for fees, so transaction fees, 50% of the transaction fee on Smart BCH. So now we're at 20 million... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no longer 21 million. It's, yeah. yeah. Although Satoshi supposedly has around a million coins or suspected Satoshi coins. Mm-hmm. So you could always say, already say we're around 20 million. That's they true. haven't moved. That's but true. Unlikely that they'll move, but you never know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Depends um, on who you believe is. Yes. And I think it was like a week ago, the BCH that has been locked up. So when you move BCH to Smart BCH, you're sending it to CoinFlex. Yes. And they control that address. Yes. Uh, it just sat there until about a week ago where they actually burned it oh, Okay. on BCH yeah, yeah. mainnet. Yeah, so that uh, so might now not... So it's actually gone. It's actually gone, yeah. yeah. The hun- it might not be the 151. You'd have to check the addresses. Mm-hmm. Um, but at least a chunk of it has actually been burned, burned. Mm-hmm. So that that is Good. still a manual process from the CoinFlex side. But I think they're just waiting on... Yeah, once the decentralized bridge is out, I think that's one thing that that's going to be worked on so it's more automated. But yes, Smart BCH is now burning BCH. CoinGecko has Smart BCH tokens. Smart BCH tokens on it now, yeah. yeah. So you can actually check and look at your MIST and your EBAN and your cash, cash cats on CoinGecko. I also saw Tango was listed on CoinMarketCap. Oh, okay. It was a few days ago? Yeah, I think that was a few days ago. I don't know if it's the DEX version or just the token itself. Probably just the token. I think Ben is listed just as the token on CoinMarketCap. That might be it, yeah. So so you can track the token, but if you want to actually track Smart BCH World, CoinGecko is the way to go. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sticking with Smart BCH news, uh, Pocket.Cash is a wallet Mm -hmm. by the dev Poxt, P-O-K-K-S-T. I don't know what his actual name is. I think he works at Bitcoin.com. So he's one of the guys that works on the Bitcoin.com wallet. Pocket.cash is kind of his side project, it sounds like. It used to be called Crescent.cash or Crescent Cash. Uh, so a week or two ago, I think he added uh, Smart BCH support to the wallet. Sweet. Uh, and just a few days ago, he added Cash Fusion support to it as well. So I think it's actually the first wallet outside of Electron uh, that supports Cash Fusion. So Cash Fusion being the privacy optional privacy layer where you can put your BCH into it and it'll mix them essentially with other people oh okay yeah so it kind of interrupts tracking of coins and things like that mm-hmm. uh, so before you had to use your computer on electron to do that 
And now you can actually use a mobile wallet as well. So that's in beta. Sweet. Yeah. So that's something good. people can play with and he's actively working on it. Just baby tokens galore. Everybody can make a baby token of every other token and the latest doge. Baby smart doge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So baby tokens are the meme of the week, it seems like, in smart BCH. Yeah. And yet cats is still doing great. So they're obviously oh, yeah. not that great of a meme. No. Can't even take over the cats. <laughs> I prefer babies to cats, though, so... <laughs> yeah. Cats are easy to take care of. <laughs> it, it seems like this is, always happens in these EVM smart chain things. Yeah. It's, there's always memes going on nonstop. Well, quick cash grabs. Kid, and... Yeah, 99.9% .9 of them are just quick cash grabs. So be careful with things like that. Uh, research, research, research. Research, research, research. Uh, go Crypto. Uh, launch their token on Smart BCH. Mm -hmm. uh, so Go Crypto is a retail adoption company. So they're pushing. They have their own wallet. I think it's called like Alipay or something. And they're pushing retail adoption in like mostly Eastern Europe. Mm -hmm. I think they're like primarily in Slovenia or something like that. Mm. Uh, so in that area, they've actually got it. So it's like a lot of the grocery stores and stuff actually support crypto with their wallet. So you can actually go to a grocery store and buy everything with BCH. I like that. Yeah. So I think they actually have like thousands of retailers supporting it. And they seem to be doing a push to like expand a lot more. Mm -hmm. um, I actually think I just saw a few days ago they partnered with uh, or got licensing or something for the UK. Sweet. So they are expanding, which is always good. Um, they launched their token on Binance chain, I think, uh, maybe like a month ago. And now they've got it on Smart BCH as well. Uh, they got a farm with Tango. And shed with Ben now. Yeah, I think Ben today, I actually, mm -hmm. I think the Ben farm is supposed to activate. And the last I saw a few days ago was that they were also trending on Miswap. Yeah, so but, when the new month starts, they might get a farm. Yeah, we're only, the Miswap algorithm is only like halfway through, so we've got like another 15 days. Mm, like 20, I think. Uh, somewhere around there. The last month, it changed pretty drastically the last like five days. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Seems like there's a lot of wash trading that goes on on certain tokens. <laughs> yes. To be expected. Yes. I saw a note from Kui Wang in the Smart BCH chat at one point. I think this was like a week or two ago. Uh, how that there was some stability problems on the nodes, mm -hmm. Smart BCH nodes, uh, and a memory leak. And I think the memory leak had been going on for a little bit. Um, so they were focusing on that. Uh, sounds like they solved them, or at least parts of them. And... Because they were slowed down by the, by that, some of the stuff they were working on had to be put to the side. Mm -hmm. But they're now back to working on that, which is uh, sounds like coin staking. So not a hundred percent how it's sure how it's going to work, but it might be able to stake BCH on the main chain. Okay. Potentially for voting for validators, or this is just going to be something within Smart BCH for BCH staking. So don't know the the specifics, but it's something to do with staking BCH. Okay, so yeah. hold BCH. So hold BCH. <laughs> so potentially we'll know more about that as it develops later. But that was supposed to be this month, so that would have been December. Yeah. So it obviously, didn't come out, so yeah, something delayed it. So or obviously, we might it get it this week. Yes, it might come out very soon. Holidays, Christmas, New Year's, all that fun stuff. Uh, something else being developed by Matrix Port, which is Kui Wang uh, and Ji Han Wu, uh, is the cross chain dot network, which is. Uh, CC tokens. So it's some sort of bridge between blockchains. So smart BCH. So right now, I think if you go to the network, which is crosschain.network, uh, you can bring up a swap menu between BTC, BCH, and Ethereum. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can bring BCH to Ethereum type thing, and you'll get a CC BCH token. So it doesn't seem like they're fully operational. And there's very little volume on them, according to like CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko, whatever it is. But it seems like it's being developed, so that might be something to keep an eye on. Especially if it starts allowing us to eventually bring Ethereum yeah, into nice. Smart BCH. So it might expand the network and, and uh, farming options, at least in the future. Mm -hmm. So that, that's about all we have for Smart BCH news right now. It's been kind of quiet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's a question for you then. Okay. How do you think Smart BCH is going to do in 2022? I've been seeing a lot of people being like, oh, 2022 is the year of BCH. Yeah, I've been seeing that as well. <laughs> um, if the crypto market 
pumps, the whole delayed four-year cycle bullshit. Um, <laughs> you know, it'll have its typical upswing with everything else, price-wise, if you want to just talk price, but actual project valuation in two smart PCH worlds, I think it's going to be a slow burn through 2022 everybody's kind of waiting for the pump right now we're in a little weird side shift thing so nobody really wants to do much so when that happens and the drop happens that's where people start you know they took out all their money now they're going to start slowly putting in again or but i think that's when everybody will kind of come back to actually growing and building Mm -hmm. um so i think it'll be like summer to late half of 2022 is where we're going to start seeing anything and until then i think it's gonna be a slow burn on bch Smart BCH or BCH? Smart BCH. <laughs> it's all the same shit to me. Um, I would mostly agree, but... Like, when the gate comes out, there should be an uptick of... Shot but, gate. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, think... there'll definitely be an uptick once that comes out. But That's... I think that kind of still sticks in the current... BCH pred... ecosystem? No, it sticks in the current bull run cycle prediction shit. That's all bullshit anyway, but <laughs> if we're dragging it out, then we're just dragging it out, and then we're all going to say that. Because Shawgate came out, that's why the pump happened. Uh, well, but everything else is pumping at the same time, then obviously no, not. No, 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 no. It's all, it's all, all related. Okay. We're all one. Um, I could agree that it might be a slow burn. See, the stuff I've been seeing lately is that it seems like so. Obviously, Ethereum is having major issues with scaling. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh A lot of other chains are coming out that kind of relieve the pressure a little bit because. Even though Ethereum is still stupidly expensive, people can still do the same things on other chains. Yeah. But as those other chains have started getting popular, they have also been having scaling issues. Mm -hmm. So some of them are trying to fix it in different ways. Things like Avalanche, where they seems like they like sub-network all of the networks. So it's almost the same idea as how Ethereum is trying to, uh, instead of everything running on Ethereum, they attach to all these different side chains that do their own different thing. Yeah. So in Avalanche's case, I haven't really looked too far into the technicals on it, but it seems like it kind of works similar to Cosmos and stuff, where it's like each chain is its own use case, is its own network. Mm -hmm. So as long as that network doesn't get saturated, you can jump from chain to chain to chain, and it's fine. So it's almost like a relief valve Mm -hmm. for stopping fees from going up. So depending on the use cases, until they get too popular people will be okay Mm -hmm. on those other chains those other chains for those certain things so right now there's no push for people to build on smart bch because those other options exist and they're good enough yeah so like i was looking at one recently that said that it was capable of 8 million transactions per second Mm -hmm. which is a very very high amount yeah um once you start digging into it it seems like it's a centralized solution though so it's they've done the same thing they've split off these different subnetworks, which are different blockchains that can do different things, but they all go back to a main chain, and it's just very highly centralized once you hit that point. Mm-hmm. So hopefully Smart BCH isn't going to follow that route because it's more designed around being decentralized around the BCH miners. Yeah. It's kind of one thing I like about it is it's yeah, it's that, not trying to have an owner. That's the Yeah, that's kind of the big thing about it, but most people don't seem to care. And a lot of people believe it should be centralized for whether it be funding and backing projects or shit gets done. Yes. That's the marketing side, but even just the technical side. I mean, um, you don't care what your microwave works. <laughs> That's my thing lately. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, e- but even just the technical side of, so that 8 million transactions per second chain, mm-hmm. if it works, people are happy with it. But to get that, you have to be fully centralized. Yeah. It seems like for that one specifically. Uh, if smart bch could get the same thing the same transactions per second it wouldn't have that fallback that, mm-hmm. that downside of being centralized it would still be decentralized if it got to it so that is a major benefit but people don't really think or care about it well it seems like i mean realistically you just look at how many people do bitcoin and ethereum transactions they don't care because that's just the way it is and they use it because they don't understand anything else because you don't care how your microwave works. Exactly. Yes. You don't care. As long as it works and gets your shit yes. done, then it doesn't matter. Yes. So, so. That, that's why I think 2022 might be a slow burn, like you're saying, mm-hmm. is people don't care if it's a centralized network or not. Yeah. It's until they get burned by that for some reason, and then they wise up to the fact that centralization has downsides to it. And yeah. so maybe they'll push them to a decentralized I think option, it really so. depends where you look government-wise, too. 
country-wise and stuff. People who are getting tired of, you know, look at the states and the money and inflation and all that stuff is going to start pushing people to want to own their own money and get away from that centralization. Which would still push them to centralized cryptos, potentially. Because it's the first option and they don't really know the difference. Yes. Because to them, crypto is the... BTC or Ethereum or whatever. No, it's more the the anti-government as a whole. So as long as you're in crypto, you're going against the government and you must be doing better. So people don't look into the technicals of what they're getting into. That's why so many people buy Doge. Or Ripple. Or Ripple. (laughs) Or Tether or all these tokens. So I think BCH really needs a push for marketing and pulling devs into builds. Because Mm -hmm. if you have projects that can be used or fun or a reason for people to bring their money over, you you just got got to get people to use it a little bit. Mm -hmm. see how easy it is and then they oh okay and as long as it works they're happy you just gotta get to that point yeah so to steer back to smart bch a little bit um i've seen little talks here and there of people that are building Mm -hmm. but it's not ready yet or something like that so it does seem like there are projects that are coming yeah and hopefully they are some more major use cases or games like i want Mm -hmm. but it seems like it's just taking some time which makes sense because it takes time to dev things. So Yeah. It's kind of one of the hard things about this whole ecosystem is you almost want to talk about what you're building, but you don't want to talk about it because you don't want somebody else to do it. Pretty much. Because you want to be the <laughs> one to do it and bring it out. And if you talk about it, maybe somebody's better at it so they get ahead of you and mm-hmm. so that everything just seems quiet. So like nothing's building, nothing, nobody knows anything. It's all, you know, everybody's like, well, what's coming out? And it's like, oh, we'll let you know. Just keep <laughs> waiting. Coming soon, yeah. very soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in general BCH news, um, Kim.com, who's the founder of the whybitcoincash.com website, uh, is releasing or is working on uh, Kim, K.im. Mm-hmm. And it might be coming in January. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, but it's supposed to be some sort of uh, content distribution site for creators and it was going to be used with btc at the beginning i think and then kim tried to develop on it with his team and they couldn't get to work with lightning uh, or it wouldn't work well at all and so they pivoted to bch which has been like that was like three or four or five months ago okay um so it should be coming out soon hopefully and kim recently announced that they're working with loki network mm-hmm. and session and I think Session is Loki's uh, side project or a project that they own. So Session is like a another version of Signal. Mm-hmm. So like a private messaging app. Haven't used it. Don't know much about it. I've seen people complain it's crappier than Signal in use case. I find Signal honestly very bare bones, but... Yeah, Signal works. I, I think the, the criticism is Signal is more centralized. Mm-hmm. Uh, whereas session is a it sounds like it's a decentralized version yeah so it has a worse use case or a user experience sometimes Mm. maybe things don't work all the time or i see yes Uh, but it looks like it has active users i jumped into their telegram real quick and there's a bunch of people in it that are talking about it so and using it uh loki network uh i think it had something to do with uh like a tor network so it's like a privacy network you can think about in a basic way Mm mm-hmm And they run their own little, uh, like, addressing schemes and things like that. So I I believe it's crypto-based, and you can actually buy their tokens and then, like, buy a domain name on their Loki network. Okay. And that's the only way to get to it, just through their, yeah. You can look into that if you want. So apparently Kim.com is partnering with them. It could be good for Smart BCH as a whole. Or BCH, I guess, not necessarily Smart BCH, but BCH. Yeah. (laughs) It, it depends what's going on. Like, we don't know the full details about this K.im yet. Yeah. Uh, but the quote, or a little snippet I took out, was uh, partnering with Loki Network and Session to develop Web 3.0 content distribution u- utilizing IPFS. So IPFS is Interplanetary File System. So essentially it's a... We're going to Mars. It, it could be. I guess so. <laughs> Maybe Wait, that's no, why Kim's new. talking with Elon. Oh, oh, I like it. I'll take my cyber truck there. Ah, there you go. Uh, IPFS is a storage network, essentially. Okay. So you can, if you think like Dropbox or some Microsoft Cloud, whatever, um, we can put a file in it. IPFS is that. You can put a file in it. And as long as people share it on this network, it'll still 
be there type thing. So hmm. you can, in theory, like run a website and put the files on IPFS. So it's not on a specific server. And as long as people share them and it's almost like, think of it like torrents, if you know torrents. So when you upload like a completely legal movie mm-hmm. <laughs> onto a torrents, it's shared to everybody that downloads it and they share it with other people. And that's how it kind of lives on. And you can just plug in and download it from all those random people, bits and pieces until you have the full file. So I totally don't have to do that tonight. Oh no, definitely not. No, I'm totally. Also in BCH news, uh, noise.cash turned one year old recently, apparently. So that's almost like a Twitter-like okay. platform. I was like, wait, which one's noise and which one's read? Yeah, read.cash is like a article posting place. Right. Like medium. Right. But people can tip you. So the only reason I mentioned noise.cash is that I noticed uh, the helpme.cash website. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> It is a very incomplete website with lots of links to Smart VCH and Bitcoin Cash projects. Sweet. Which also has a media tab now where just declutter a little bit, but we'll go over that in a second. Yeah, Noise on Cash. There is, it's the top or has been the top uh, link incomer for Help me. helpme.cash hmm. for the last couple months. They're big in Philippines. Okay. Yeah, it seems like the Philippines in that area, it's getting a lot of traction, which will likely be because you can earn tips and uh you can earn tips from people but also from the company itself Mm. they Mm -hmm. reward people for posting content at least content that doesn't seem like spam and things like that so so yeah they have seem to have a decent following there that's good so there's some more content creators yes that you put into helpme.cash their links yes so there was uh, some random video creators and links and stuff scattered around that i put all on the media tab now on help me dog cash mm-hmm. uh, so some of the people that are making videos and stuff that you can check out uh, would be uh, neon dathal uh, mark valzone vlad ivanov and dino pause as just a, four examples think, there's more than that i think vlad recently changed his yeah i think it's vlad <laughs> for profit bad for profit or something, something. Like but yeah um so essentially if you just browse youtube you can find these people but a couple of them are linked on helpme.cash and then just go to the media section Mm -hmm. and it's a bunch of uh videos and podcasts and things like that that's related more to bch and smart bch or yes okay it's kind of a mixture right now so okay anything else no i think that's about it any questions for me nothing you can say on the podcast (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> um if you had to pick what tokens would be your top three on smart pch what tokens would be my top three yeah in what sense just holding or that you believe long term in that you think have a potential whether you hold them or not smart pch will need a dex mm-hmm. i personally like misswap the best okay although there is downsides to it mm-hmm. so so non-dex related because we need a dex <laughs> and we all know miss swaps kind of trending as number one as a whole well technically ben is still number one in terms of market capital liquidity or something so yeah. so just quickly to speak on that i kind of like a miss swap is doing other things rather than little things that are just copies from other chains yeah i mean miss swap is still copying in terms of mislend and things like that but mm-hmm. uh the algorithm i haven't really seen no that's pretty unique to miss yeah i'm sure there, it exists in other places i just i'm not aware of another dex that has it yeah that said i will freely say there is many ecosystems in crypto that i don't know anything about mm-hmm. so the algorithm has its own faults it does yes that's part of the issue of how that will develop we'll yeah. see but but it's a kind of a fun game in itself to be like oh who's gonna get it next month and oh it's get, it's increased maybe i should buy more of that token because it's gonna maybe, get so much yeah. more I've, yeah I've, I've looked to yeah. see which ones are gonna pump near the end yeah so, so non-dex tokens so non-dex tokens law mm-hmm. is unique <laughs> we'll, we'll say we'll put it that way um in terms of like the website and the development and stuff it seems quite professional so in terms of like what would be the highest quality token in presentation mm-hmm. and use case, I would probably say law and the law punks. It's all kind of one ecosystem. So yeah. So if you're if I was gonna say what has the most long term staying power, I'd probably put law in that list. 
And a third one? <laughs> L- let me look at the list. <laughs> <laughs> it's growing now. There's like 63 some on marketcap.cash, but granted, a lot of them are just little nothings right now. But Lambo something. There's cats. Always got to have a good meme token. Yeah. But Cash Cast is just a pure meme token I know, it right doesn't now, have though. a long purpose. No. Like, they got NFTs now, but again, the mm-hmm. NFTs are just... Pictures. Pictures, purely basic. Oasis.cash isn't cats. technically cats. Yeah. It's just the platform. So yeah. if they develop it, sure. But right now, I'd probably say no. That in, in, For myself, in terms of, like, uniqueness and long-term staying power, mm-hmm. I, I, I like the features. I could see Cash Cat sticking around long term just because it is a meme token. One of those first meme tokens that yeah. has a lot of community support, but I've uh, had some issues with BCH Pat. Yeah, some of the way things have been handled. Yeah. I haven't liked. I would definitely no longer think that's one worthy of sticking around, personally. That's just my personal two cents. <laughs> I, I could agree with that. <laughs> Uh, Flex Depends US- on how much I pay you. <laughs> Flex USD is an auto win in my books. Like, it's, I would say Flex USD is an auto ex- exclude. Yeah. It's a stable coin. Exactly. Like it's. But I'll shell it any day. <laughs> I shelled it today on Reddit. Oh, good job. Yeah, thanks. I hate all the burn tokens. Okay, let's let's put a target on our back. Let's just go through this list. <laughs> all right. So Bitcoin Cash sucks. Bitcoin it's Cash one. is horrible. Uh, okay, so Eben, we already yes. talked about that a bit. Flex USD, we went about Mist. We talked about Law, talked about Tango. Another Dex. Another Dex. Personally, I'm not huge on them. Yeah. I'm not opposed to them, but there's nothing unique about them, really. Uh, honestly, I just, I'm of the opinion of you take a perfectly working Dex copy when we don't need more fucking Dexes. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try and break into the market, but they're, so they're, they're doing to... stuff now. I get that. And they're just kind of taking suggestions from the community and they're like, hey, we're going to do that coming soon yeah so they're trying to do the aggregator yeah so when you do a transaction it will pull it from all the other dexes if their rates are better yeah like that's not a bad thing to have i will say that first impressions mean a lot i guess for everybody and i'm not excluded from that because for tango i think tango i just think extreme shill yeah because their telegram was just like massive shilling nonstop. and anytime you did any questions or anything they just spam their images so you'd never get an answer and yeah i don't like tango it's it's an okay it, it's like it's fine to have I'm, as a dex. i'm using tango I'll, I'll say that i am using it yeah, here, but... <laughs> <laughs> you can sleep on the couch <laughs> uh celery i'm not a fan of the whole hex style stuff mm-hmm. um i've never i've never really done a super deep dive into it it just seems too risky to me yeah so i'll pass on that tropical we talked um, about we talked about before i think they're yeah. trying to stick around they're doing stuff they're communicating again another very shilly it does seem like it yes so i'll be honest like i go into mist and it's very quiet which sometimes looks bad when you're like oh there's no talking and stuff but at the same time i can scroll up and see oh that's was released that was talked about that's it's not like i gotta go searching through i open telegram it's like oh two thousand messages on daiquiri finance one and it's like is there anything important? After two minutes of scrolling, it's like image, image. I'm like, I just don't care. Next. Yeah, pretty much. So I find that with Daiquiri, Ben Swap is a lot like that too. They've calmed Not nearly down as quite. Bad, though. No, exactly. Um, they've calmed down a lot lately. One BCH has been relatively quiet, but they're still more chatty. There's a lot of fucking Texas. Muesli's disappeared. Okay, yeah. we're going to well, get to that. Okay, we'll get to that. All right. Okay, so incinerate, fire token. I... So wait, BCH pad has a use oh. case. It does have a use case. The creator is kind of a douchebag now. <laughs> Gonna put that out there. Um, so there's a little bit of drama around that, which people can read on Reddit and stuff. That has and to do in with telegrams and. I think it was the crypto sorted, yeah, uh, token. So they were trying to launch the BCH pad and yeah, so you can go read that drama. Not even just that. It's just to me, it's like make your shit clear. So I go to the website and it's like it's gonna be locked up, and it's like okay, well, how... it, to me, it sounds like it's gonna be an amount. But it doesn't say how much. It doesn't say how much the fee is going to be to launch your project for people. So every project you buy in, you have to own BCH Pad, mm-hmm. and you use that. You have to spend that to buy on the project that's listed on BCH Pad. So it's like a tax. Yes. Um, but it's different on every single one. 
So it's just a random number he picks at the time. Yeah. So part of the crypto sort of drama was that he actually released pictures and stuff of their chat. Mm-hmm. And it seemed like BCH Pad wanted to change the tokenomics of the, the sale projects. and how much it's going to yeah. be listed for and things like that. And It just seems scammy, really. Well, it's... It, it seems unprof- it seems unprofessional yeah. like stuff like that should be worked out beforehand it should there shouldn't be questions about it especially yeah. when the sale was i think this was when the sale was going on yeah so yeah so anyway yeah so, it's got use cases i just don't like the if somebody made a new run. one and it was better i would buy into <laughs> it i sold off my bch pad okay yeah. <laughs> so that's that's why you're uh that's you're going I mean. after it now. yeah i sold off of it because i didn't like so, it but that's a good example of like yes we have lots of debt yes. huh? i've been waiting a very long time for my flex usd payment to come in and it just did oh okay <laughs> it's been like a week whoa okay that's a long time <laughs> the, the one site's broken oh for the slp yeah i see yeah okay sorry <laughs> you just got really excited <laughs> I did. Um, so that, that's kind of flows into how the, there's lots of DEXs, but maybe a new DEX comes along that's actually better. Exactly. So you can't can fully always... discount them just because a new DEX is coming out. Exactly. So. It's true. And that's, it's all about professionalism when you're coming to a company side of things, when it's not a meme token, unprofessional, so okay, whatever, but. Mm-hmm. Okay. So going on, incinerate fire, number 11. I hate tax tokens. Yeah. So this, this is a reflect token, a reflection token. Yeah. So if you send it, it automatically takes some amount, say 10%, and then 5% of it gets burned, and 3% goes and buys more fire tokens mm-hmm. and burns them. and two holders of... Yeah, and then 2% yeah. gives itself to all the other holders of fire token. Like, it's... Mm-hmm. Eh. It, it seems like it's a token purely around number go up. Yeah. There's no use case behind if it. If you're in early. If you're well, yeah, it's designed around number go up. So once number goes up enough, people sell off the token plummets. Yeah. And generally they kind of die out. Yeah. So it depends if there's any more use case around it besides that. I haven't looked into fire because the basic principle of the token I don't really like. Yeah. So uh Go Crypto, we talked about. We talked about Go Crypto, that one It's a use case project and it's kind of a little weird project having because it's like Oh, spend your go crypto and i'm like well why not just spend your bch but at the same time you're pushing crypto yeah so for them i think it's like you get goc coins for yeah like using it's like more like a something. reward it's token kind of like style. a reward token yeah. yeah so that one i don't mind that one's not bad as a smart bch coin i definitely don't view it as a Get smart bch yeah. coin it's a general ecosystem coin across multiple ecosystems yeah. so that one merging yeah so that one i wouldn't really get into a lot for smart bch long term i'll do it if miss gets farm i probably would but that's just because i want miss rewards <laughs> flex coin flex coin is good with coin flex that one's kind of not a smart bch token again so yeah because that's so we probably exclude that from your question then yeah that and go crypto aren't really smart bch specific yeah. coins uh joystick club isn't e- isn't either but it is a bch coin yeah um, I actually used it a couple times. Did you? One night. Yeah. Played a couple games. I suck at them. <laughs> I mean, that's just games as a whole. Yeah. <laughs> eh, I walked into that one. <laughs> but yeah, I tried them. Got a couple joy tokens for playing. Okay. Um, I think I technically made more than what I spent on it. Yeah, that's a win. Side note, joy token actually reduced. The, they halved their rewards for playing games like yesterday oh. or today. Okay. Don't, don't know much about that, but that's but it's what they, an actual, they announced it. It's a do something token, which I like. Yes, there's actually something to do with them. Yeah. And Volcano is another. Volcano tax is another token. reflection token. Okay, so that's a nope. Uh, Orb, there's actually a project behind it. Okay. So that is the the frog card game thing, where it's got like the the frog warrior, which is like a 4chan meme. And I don't it's... browse 4chan, sorry. <laughs> Uh, I can't remember what it's called. There's a name for them specifically. Okay, hoppers. Mm, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, Orb is the token for the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't mind it. They're trying to do metaverse things. They, he, the creator launched a uh, trailer recently about their metaverse. And so it's like you can make your character in the Orb game, whatever it's called, mm-hmm. enter the sphere. And oh, I've seen that. Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's what Orb is from. Okay and it's like you, your avatar would show up in some other games walking around okay. as your character 
things like that. Use case token and mall for it? Use case token, it's okay. I absolutely <laughs> I absolutely hate how to play the game you have to use Telegram. Oh. You have to launch the game from Telegram chat. From the last I saw. Can I play it on my phone then? Because I have Telegram on my phone? Maybe. Probably. Okay. Yeah. Telegram is not a gaming platform. No. Not in my mind. No. UATX token. Don't know anything about it, except I think it's about one of the bridges. Oh, yeah. Early on. Was I, I think they run a node. Maybe. That sounds so. right. So, not really a use case token. No, it might be a more developer funding style token. So Maybe. Don't know much about that, so me. Spice token. You can tip it. You can tip it. It's original BCH meme yeah. SLP token, so no use case behind it. It's you just a meme. It. You can tip it. Uh, Miss bar. Eh, don't. Doesn't count. No, XMAS don't count. Bitcoin Cash Argentina. Uh, it's ran by the Argentina guy, which runs Tango yep. community style or like community manager or whatever. But he's not it, the dev. Oh, I thought he was developing it with the Knuff, Knuff Node. Dev. Yeah, Knuff Node Dev, I think is the dev. I don't think the Argentina guy is a coding dev. Oh, okay. He might be, but that's his token, Bitcoin Cash Argentina. Okay. Or at least the Argentina group. Mm-hmm. Axie BCH. It's kind of a funny one. Why is that? It's the whole concept of the guild. So you buy and you fund the guild. Like, I get the whole, oh, you make money... But then it's just like they own stuff in the game. Yes. And the guild users can use that stuff. But then I'm like, why don't I just go get that stuff in the game? I think they might rent it out for cheaper or Maybe. something. Yeah, I don't know the, the specifics behind it. But essentially a gaming guild. Yep. Yep, with money. Yep. A lot of people are making an income off of it, which is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually not specific to... Like, this isn't a new thing. No. There's I've seen gaming guilds across other places as well, so... Mm -hmm. Um, they're also spreading out from Axie as well. I think Axie BCH was in Peg Axie. It's like a horse racing game or something. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's there's multiple versions on like Polygon Network and other yeah. stuff as well. So it's Not it's probably just a fork of those ones or mm, something. But mm -hmm. Smart BUSD. So that is a stable coin. That is a stable coin. Nobody uh, ran by Kane. Yes. Um, so stable coins are excluding. Yes. Uh, Cat's luck is we've talked about it. We yep. have the website and. Uh, so I think it was Bruce Lee is the name of the dev behind it. I don't really know, to be honest with you. Like, I saw something with the website Bruce Lee, yada, 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 but then I saw something totally unrelated by somebody else, so. Okay, may or may not be, but uh, slowly being developed, little staking gambling, that's about it. So yep. use case-wise, eh, for me, long term, yeah. but not bad. You're buying slot coins, that's all you're doing. Then you exchange slot machine it. coins? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, Dow. <laughs> a meme coin, I say, I would say. It's something that came out of nowhere and blew up into. I think it came out of nowhere from our point of view, but, but it, was, it seems like it's more in the the Chinese yes, community side. So, but basically, it seems like a meme coin. Side note: its mist farms are gigantically growing. Oh, <laughs> so you think I should buy some? Maybe, maybe not. Mm. Depends how much you want mist and how risky you are. Milk. What's milk? I, I, it's something it's in drink. my fridge. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's about it. They expired. They are expired. They are chunky now. <laughs> Ooh. So have you seen anything about them or I, I've All I have seen is Hey guys, are you still here? One week later. Hey guys, are you still here? One week later. Hey guys. Yeah, we're still here. Okay. Hi. Anything new? One week later. <laughs> hey guys, are you still here? <laughs> Okay, I haven't been watching their groups at all. They're they're paying attention to Cardano. Cardano. Okay. But Smart PCH was a funding platform for their Cardano. So. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Well, I their kind of their price is kind of reflecting that. Yeah, they've been crashing into nothingness, and now it's just people who have hopes for something. Mm-hmm. Honk. 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 Uh, meme token. Don't they got NFTs? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I can't remember. I don't know. It's a meme token. All it's right. it's pre Smart BCH, just like Spice. Yes. Uh, Smart BCH token observer. I know nothing about this. I, it's another one that came out of nowhere. Yeah. So I think it's part of their community. Is it? Because it came around soon after. Okay. I don't. I've just seen some people call it a scam, and then the developer came in to chat, kind of salty about it, and was like, "We're not a scam. Here's our Telegram and information." It's like, okay. Okay. That's that's the limit of my knowledge on it. Yep. <laughs> so I would probably say for myself, nope. 
Game token is related to Axie BCH. But it's also a, a tax token. It's a reflection token. But in their defense, they fixed all the problems. Yeah, it's there a reflection go. token. I don't I'm like not them. interested. Nope. Uh, moon, 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 moon. Best token on Smart It BCH. is probably number one. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have 80 cents of that. Oh, wow. <laughs> you are a whale. It's in a farm and I can't get it up because these are fire. Then 80 cents? <laughs> no, yeah, because I, I put it in because I was trying to get all the rewards yeah. when it got a farm. Oh, on when this. it first released. Yeah. Right. And, you, and you, I, nobody in the farm yet. Yeah. And then once I put it in, there was more money in it. So I fucked myself. Right. Yeah. Yeah, wasn't it like you? there was zero dollars in the farm? And so you locked it in and it was like five seconds that you were the only one in yeah it. and i got like four or seven missed or something like that I'm like yes 4.7 yeah no four two seven something in there four or seven. Oh, okay yeah and then like 13 grand popped in like yeah. right away yeah <laughs> but i had like so much apr i was i was taking a picture of it and then it updated oh it was so sad yeah yeah i think that happened to me on one of them it did yeah. Yeah. Which is why I was taking a picture because I was higher than what yours was. Then I was all excited. I was beating you up. <laughs> I can't remember what I did it on. It might have been missed. It was on missed. Yes. Okay. It was in once the new farms updated. Oh and right. So... It was the. I think it was like the cat's honk. No, no, that was the one that messed up. Yeah, that was yeah. the one you messed up. <laughs> but the icon was wrong. Yes. <laughs> the cat's honk is still in there though because it's like half a cent or something. That's the thing. So... The fees are too high to take out. I have eighty cents sitting there, but that's eighty cents mixture with BCH. So you could take it out. I, yeah, I could, but you'd get. I get, actually, cents. I guess if I did, I would get the miss at the same time. But yeah. then, by the time I do the next transaction to take out, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sheba BCH. Next. Yep. Yeah. One BCH. Another Dex. Another Dex. I have a ton of there are BCH just sitting in the staking, waiting for magic. Like what's a ton? <laughs> I mean, it's ir- it's it's less than like it's not really. If it goes up to a dollar, then you can I'll buy lunch. Ha- <laughs> no, I could buy like a city. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. That's a lot. I'm gonna buy an island. <laughs> but for it to go to a dollar, would that that would that be more money than exists in the world? <laughs> Pretty much. <yes>. Okay. <laughs> Wojak meme coin, potato coin, meme coin. They're doing something. I saw, but I don't know what. I didn't fully read it. I saw Potato Coin, and they were like, hey, we have something coming for 2022. And I'm like, cool. That's all I got. <laughs> okay. So I don't know anything about what Potato Coin's doing. Or Wojak. Or Ham Token. Or Knuff. Is it? Yeah, Ham Token's like... It's like a wireless yeah. something or other. Yeah. Knuff is a pointless fucking token. Yeah. Just... It's not actually representing Knuff mode. No, it's just some it random as. fucking token. Well, it's one of the devs in Knuth Node created yeah. the token. Yeah. Uh, for what? Congratulations, for I can create a token. It's a meme Buy token. into my token. That's it's big. not even a meme token because it makes it seem like it's more, but it's not. <laughs> uh, oh, Crypto Sorted. Look at that. Sweet. I so didn't they, actually think they got onto this. Yeah. So they're, they're actually doing something. It's one guy, I think. Mm-hmm. But I'm not sure what he's doing. Mm-hmm. But regardless of what happened with... BCH pad or B pad, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, he is working on it apparently. Don't know what. So That'll be interesting. Eh, pass. Smart index. I kind of like this one. I do kind of like it. This is one I did get into in the pre-sale though. So it's basically a. I got in and I sold out. Trader. Oh, I got in lower than pre-sale price, so. <laughs> I was just looking for gains one day. <laughs> uh, so it's basically like a managed portfolio. Yeah. So it's like a low-level DAO almost, mm-hmm. but it's not as sophisticated as that. Yeah. I think it's really good for those people who don't really understand the system to buy in and let it spread out everywhere and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I just think it needs to be flushed out more. It needs to be flushed out. It needs to get more... Bugs uh, fixed. So that hopefully, like, bigger number of developers and stuff in it. So, mm-hmm. like, this is a token that I could see not specifically this token but this use case yeah would be very good to have for smart bch yes because even like we've got some people into smart bch lately Mm -hmm. that aren't into crypto really or are non-technical or non-technical so when you're telling them how to do something it's 
literally, okay, look at the top left of your screen. Okay, now click yes. on the so. But so some people we've got in and they've got BCH and stuff farming. Mm -hmm. Like they're using Misswap. Yeah. And a few other DEXs. Um, and a few other DEXs. But once they get in, it's like, okay, you, you get them set up. They're happy. They know how to move money in when they mm -hmm. want to. And then it's like they con they contact you and they're like talking about buying fire token or something. Yeah. And it's like, Because really? they, don't, they don't know anything about the tokens. Yes. And they're not a part of any of the telegrams or the websites or they're just like. And they don't research because they don't know how to. Yeah. Or they just don't know that they're supposed to or they don't really care about it. Yeah. They, they're just looking for places to put money and make money. Yeah. So something of a managed portfolio that has access to a bunch of different tokens would actually be pretty decent. I agree. So for people like that, that'd be really good where it's like an index fund almost. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to get. Buy this. It's got a bunch of other, bunch of random things in it yeah. backing it. So that's one I actually like longer term. I think it would be good to have kind of like a split. You can buy these. It's relatively safe. So that's where they buy like FlexUSD because it has its gains itself. And then some of the, you know safer DEXs to buy into and then some of the uh, projects that actually have a purpose and then you oh let's go riskier and then mm -hmm. you know you kind of have like a three level choice yeah basically like different types of index funds yeah where it's like i want the safe fund yeah. or the medium fund or the mm -hmm. high risk fund and yeah i think that would actually be something that could have a better long-term use case better long-term ecosystem use itself case. exactly yeah there's a lot of fucking tokens there's a lot of tokens i didn't think there was this many when you I started know. opening um, I think we're just going to end it there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everything I, below that is too small. It's too small. There's a lot of other random meme tokens. Most of them are just meme tokens. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's all. Until next time. See ya. Bye. B-U-I. Bye. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>